One popular intraday trading strategy is the moving average crossover strategy. This strategy involves using two moving averages of different time periods to identify trends in the stock price and generate buy and sell signals. Here's an example of how the moving average crossover strategy can be applied to the NSE stock market. Determine the time periods for the moving averages. The most common time periods used are 50 day and 200 day moving averages. Plot the moving averages on a chart. Plot the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average on a chart for the stock you want to trade. Look for crossovers. When the 50 day moving average crosses above the 200 day moving average, it's a bullish signal and a potential buy order. When the 50 day moving average crosses below the 200 day moving average, it's a bearish signal and a potential sell order. Use indicators to confirm the signals. To confirm the signals, you can use technical indicators such as the Relative Strength Index RSI or the Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD to analyze momentum and strength of the trend. For example, let's say you want to apply this strategy to the stock of Infosys LTD. INFY, listed on NSE. You plot the 50-day and 200-day moving averages on a chart for INFY and observe the crossovers. If the 50-day moving average crosses above the 200-day moving average, you place a buy order for INFY. Conversely, if the 50-day moving average crosses below the 200-day moving average, you place a sell order for INFY. To confirm the signals, you can use technical indicators such as RSI or MACD. If RSI is above 50, it confirms a buy signal, and if it's below 50, it confirms a sell signal. It's important to note that no strategy is foolproof, and it's always wise to use risk management techniques such as stop-loss orders to limit potential losses.